Jesus. Me and you back together in the truck. It's good to be back, man. Good to be back. How are my fans doing? I don't know, man. I think they're doing pretty good. They're doing pretty good. Why don't you look at them? How do you give them a good morning kiss, no? I don't do kisses, man. That is for sissies. I'm going back here. Bunch of sissies. So yes, good morning. We're here at our delivery point in Winnipeg. Just delivered our load of lumber. And it turns out, just as I got unloaded, I got a reload out of this exact same yard. So they took my lumber off. They're gonna put new lumber back on. And then I'm headed to Michigan. Looking forward to that, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go through the US. Yeah, if I'm going to Michigan, I'm crossing here in Manitoba and I'm going around Chicago and through the US. The highways are way better that way. So I'll go to Michigan, then from there I'll probably go into Ontario. No idea yet, but at least I'm moving, so that's good. I need to keep moving. This month has been kind of slow for me. Last month was really good, like above average, and this month has been below average. But anyways, we got here on time. We got slowed down by a train a little bit because, you know, Winnipeg. <laughs> overpasses what are those what are those no we'll just make all of traffic stop for every train all the time so this train stopped right in, right on the road it's made me like five minutes late i was so upset but uh now i'm just uh waiting for a word for my reload there we go there's the empty flatbed i got all of my equipment <laughs> can you see that <laughs> back of my truck I've got so much so I'm just waiting now for the guy who unloaded me to come back and reload me he didn't know that he was reloading me when he left so that he took off to do something else and now the office is trying to get a hold of him then hey oh there he comes he's coming behind me over there I see him in the mirror I'll probably have to back up cool and then we'll be on our way to Michigan I'm gonna put my toque on because I feel like I have bad hair. Do I have bad hair? I've got bad hair right now, don't I? One second, one second. One second. Don't go anywhere. There we go, that's better. So the guy who's loading me had no idea. So this was obviously just something that got thrown into the schedule last minute. He didn't look too happy. Diesel. Diesel, you wanna go to Michigan? You know what that means? That means we're going through Wisconsin. That means we're gonna see some Wisconsin cows. You're too, you're too obsessed with everything that's going on around here. This place is really busy, man. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Now you say I'm a country dog, man. What's all the people doing here? Where'd they come from? Where'd they go? What they doing? It's the city, Diesel. Welcome. All right, so I gotta go back around to the other side of the yard. So the guy loading me is actually a really funny, nice guy. Uh, apparently their appointment for right now canceled. So I was able to slip into the canceled appointment. That's the only reason he was all confused because I didn't have a reload appointment, but it worked out since I was here that they could just reload me now. But I'm not gonna lie. There's got to be like a, a farm with fresh manure spread all over it. Very close by because it stinks like crap. It stinks really stinks and it's not me I checked <laughs> it's not me I'm just excited that uh, this load is going to Bryan Center Michigan got to be there in a couple days somewhere around here is where he wants me I'm gonna go right in the center looks like it's gonna be right over there he's just staying there okay I can always back up a feet if I'm going too far. Alright, I'm gonna go right up to you there. So you tell me to stop, man. He's not even looking. Okay, well, I'm gonna go a little slower. Around here. That's good. Okay. Now he's waving me on. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Diesel. Brakes are a little sharp when I'm empty. Yeah, I was just looking at my load assignment here. Uh, Bryan Center, Michigan. Where is that? 
B R Y O N, right? Center, Michigan. Go on Google, learn me, teach me something. Doesn't want to work right now. Oh, I'm not connected to the internet. Internet helps. Okay, let's connect to the internet here. Bryan Center, Michigan. Okay, there it is. So it is. It's right by Grand Rapids. Oh, it is Grand Rapids. It's like south, just south of Grand Rapids, suburb of Grand Rapids, you might say. Maybe not. If you guys know where Grand Rapids, Michigan is, it's uh. Well, Detroit is on one side of the main main part of Michigan, right? Grand Rapids is just like straight west of there, right uh, close to Lake Michigan. All right. Guess I'm gonna have to get out there and strap her all down again when he's done. Off we go. When do they want it there? They want it in Michigan on the 24th. That's my dad's birthday at 1.45. That's a good appointment time. That's much better than like 6 a.m. 1.45 on, oh, Wednesday. They want it there Wednesday already. Really? It's Monday. Okay, well, uh, how long is it going to take me to get to Bryan Center? Let's say Google, Google, teach me, Google. Teach me. No, not walking. It'll take me 11 days to walk there, apparently. 11 days. No, we're going to drive. We're going to drive. Okay. 1,683 kilometers, that's just over a thousand miles. Okay, so that's, that's doable. That's doable, we'll do a good chunk today, we'll do the rest tomorrow, and then uh, we'll have plenty of time to get there for 1.45 p.m. Wednesday. Sweet, at least we're moving. I mean, it is lumber, so it doesn't, really, lumber never pays really well. But it's something, right? It's it's all, it's something on my trailer, something to pull, and hopefully there will be something that pays really well out there that I can take back. That's usually how it works. The only thing coming out of Western Canada for us usually is, you know, lumber. But that gets us to better locations, and it usually balances out pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, since I've gone on to percentage, I used to get paid by the mile, and since I've been on percentage, uh, I get more. I, I've, I've noticed that it's been better for me in the end. I, I'm not allowed to discuss details of my contract or anything, so I don't know what I'm allowed to say, what I'm not allowed to say, so I'll just say that uh, it's better. If you're uh, debating on going between mileage or if they offer you percentage, chances are percentage is probably better, but then it depends a lot on what kind of freight they pull. Like, we don't pull very good paying freight out of here, like this lumber is paying for my fuel pretty much, but they have really good paying freight elsewhere. So, it all depends on what, what you're pulling. Load it up. I'm gonna stop by the yard and scale this out yet because uh, scaling is free there. But according to my air pressure gauges on my truck and my trailer, I shouldn't be even close to being overweight. But we're gonna go check it out anyway. I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 bundles of two by fours, uh, probably about eight feet long, I'm guessing. Six feet, no, six feet long. Two by four by six, or is it six by two by four? Length times width times height. I don't know. We got lumber on us. We're on our way to Byron Center or Byron something. Right, I told you already. We're going to Michigan, Grand Rapids. We'll get a good distance behind us today. We'll probably arrive nearby there tomorrow and I unload at 1.45 in the afternoon, so I got plenty of time. But I am gonna get going now just in case there's any delays. And it's kind of pointless. Just going home for like two or three hours just to come all the way back to work and leave. We'll see what happens. Yikes, look at this. Remember I was telling you how that uh, flood water up here in North Dakota was getting pretty bad last time? Look at this, it's up onto the freeway now. It's getting worse. Yikes. And all this water is headed up to Winnipeg. It should be going down 
now because all the snow is melted everywhere so there's not any more water that should be added to it unless we have another late snowstorm or a rainfall significant rainfall so this should be the max sort of looks like it may have receded already a little bit just because you can tell that it's been uh, it's been higher you can see where the water marks are on the shoulder here's another flooded area here just up ahead Wow, eh? That is crazy. Oh, they got dikes here, like little sandbags to keep the water off the road. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. That I've never seen before. That's new. Okay. Yikes. And there's all this junk in the lane there. I guess that the water is pushed up on it. Wow. It's pretty intense. All these farmers, these poor farmers, all their fields are underwater. It's very hard to seed your field when there's like two feet of water on top of it. You know? Poor guys. And ladies, pardon me. Lady farmers. So uh, I'm not sure how long this water will take to recede and go down completely, but I'm guessing after that the farmers will have to wait another week or a couple of weeks just for the ground to dry up enough that it's not all soggy and muddy before they can seed this. And I wonder if they'll even have time to grow a crop before the winter comes next this next winter. I don't know. That's a question I would have though. Hopefully that they're not going to lose a whole a whole year's worth of harvest and crop, that's a lot of money. These are massive farms, they're like huge fields. It's a lot of money to lose. We stopped here at Rothesay, Minnesota. My regular stop and this wave of tiredness just washed over me. I have to go get some caffeine. So I made this my half hour break. I don't know how much further down the road I'm gonna get. It's not that late yet, but I'm pretty tired. I'm thinking as soon as the sun goes down, so am I. The sun does stay up quite a bit longer now than it did even a month ago. So that'll get us pretty far. I just know as soon as it gets dark, my body's just gonna shut down. Like, nope, that's it, that's all. In the words of Elmer, is Elmer Fudd, right? That's all, folks. I can't do his exact voice. Looking back out here, I-94 uh, eastbound. So we'll, uh, we probably won't get to Minneapolis tonight. I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. I'm hoping to get to Clearwater, Minnesota, to the Petro there. That's where I'd like to stop tonight. That's the goal. It's up to my body. I don't know why I'm so tired. Didn't sleep the best last night, I guess. Well, I'm at Walmart in Fergus Falls. Mandy's about to start yelling at me. What are you doing? Get back on the road! Oh, they redid this Walmart recently. Oh, very nice, very nice, yes. I'm going to park here with all these other trucks and go in and get my grocery shopping done. While I still have energy to do it. <laughs> I'm getting tired fast. I'm not going to get much further down the road than this. So may as well get this done now. And then I've got it all done for later. And I don't got to worry about it. Park right in here. I think a lot of these drivers stay here the night. I don't feel comfortable really staying the night in a Walmart just because I don't know I know some Walmarts don't like that and other drivers like it's pretty full here right now right so other drivers want to come and shop too we got to leave room for them an hour later as Troy would say have you guys checked out his vlogs yet by the way I gotta look at you for this one sec my buddy Troy makes daily videos and he's been doing it for 3,000 some days straight. And he needs a little bit of help. He needs a bump on his channel. 
It's called Beyond 1031. It used to be more of a Halloween themed channel, but he's moved on to a daily vlog of everything that goes on in his life. And him and his fiance, who's from Canada, he's from uh, Washington State, uh, they go hiking every second weekend, I think, or they usually go on some kind of adventure and he films the whole thing. His vlogs are incredible, great high quality, very entertaining, and once you get hooked on his daily vlog, it's hard to stop watching. You guys should all go check him out. Link is down below in the description to his channel. Go check him out and subscribe to him. He only has like 16,000 subscribers, and he's made a video every single day for over 3,000 days straight. I think all he needs is for people to realize how good his videos are, and you'll have a much bigger following. So if you guys want to go check him out, go ahead and jump over there. The link is down below in the description. I'm going to put you guys back up here. As for right now, we're going to head on down the road. I got some groceries stocked up now, and I want to make it at least to Sock Center, I think. I wanted to make it further than that, but I'm just tired. I sort of stopped at Walmart here now because I knew that if I stopped later, I'd be too tired to walk around. And Now, I was pretty tired for the first little while in there, but I'm glad I did stop because now I feel a lot more energized. I got my heart beating. I had an energy drink, which I usually don't. I don't recommend those things. They're terrible for you, but I wasn't in the mood for a coffee. I was just, I was too tired for a coffee. That would just make me more tired. So, uh... Got an energy drink and you know, we'll see how long that, that lasts. <laughs> I can at least get to Sock Center, I know that. That's just a little ways down the road from here. And I got a nice big truck stop there. We'll pull in there and uh, start editing some videos until we fall asleep. The trucker's in. Sock Center, Minnesota. This is a nice truck stop actually. It's a privately owned, right sort of like a mom and pop type shop, not like a big chain like Flying J or TA or anything. All right, so we got to find a parking spot, somewhere quiet, preferably. This guy left his signal on, whoops, I'll probably go park in the back. That guy left his beacon on. Whoops. You guys got to check to make sure all your lights are off when you go to bed. <laughs> that beacon is very bright. Ugh. I'm going to go right to the back. That'll make it a lot easier to walk diesel. Before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Transportation Nation Network. I have partnered with them to bring you the best in trucking entertainment and trucking news on the web. Go to their website, transportationnation.com, and you will find that it is your one-stop shop for everything trucking. There's a lot of great trucking shows and entertainment there as well. I encourage you to go, sign up on their website, and subscribe to their shows so you don't miss any. I hope to see you there. Link is down below in the description.